Hello everybody and greetings from the Delta College Planetarium. My name is Brian and I'm here to bring you the next part in our continuing series about the constellations. Last time we used the Big Dipper to find the Little Dipper and the North Star. This time we're going to use the Big Dipper to find a different constellation. During spring, the Big Dipper will be high in the sky after sunset. Remember that we used the last two stars in the cup of the Big Dipper to find the Little Dipper. This time I'm going to use the first two stars in the cup, the two nearest the handle. Last time we drew a line from bottom to top. This time we're going to go the opposite way. Imagine a line going from the top star in the cup to the bottom star in the cup, and extend that line out across the sky until you reach a very bright star. The stars around this one look something like a backwards question mark. This hook shape resembles a sickle, a tool used for harvesting grain. The sickle shape is a large part of the constellation Leo, or the lion. Leo is one of the major constellations of springtime. The sickle represents the lion's head. And behind, to the left, a triangle forms the lion's hindquarters. There are two special regions of the sky. The Big and Little Dippers reside in the first area, the circumpolar region, always above the horizon and visible every clear night. Leo is in the second, the zodiac. The zodiac is a collection of 12 constellations that map a band around the night sky. The band of these zodiacal constellations straddles a special line in the sky called the ecliptic. The ecliptic is the path the sun traces through the background stars throughout the year. We've discovered that all of the planets of the solar system orbit the sun in very nearly the same geometric plane. You can think of it as something like an enormous tabletop, with the sun at the center and the planets moving around on the surface. If the ecliptic is the path the sun takes in the sky, then we can really think about it as being the projection of Earth's orbit into space. And if the other planets orbit in the same plane as Earth, then we should expect to find other planets near this line in the night sky. This is why the zodiac is special. It is the region of the sky where the moon and planets reside. The planets don't orbit in exactly the same plane, and the moon diverges a little more from this line than the planets do, but they are all very close to the plane of the ecliptic. You will never see Mars in the Big Dipper, nor Jupiter in the Little Dipper, but you will find each of those and others near Leo at times in their orbit. Let's go back to that bright star that we pointed to, the one that looks like the point on the backwards question mark. This star is Regulus, and is the brightest star in Leo. Regulus means the Little King. Regulus is another multiple star system. At least three stars are present in the Regulus system. The brightest, the one we can easily see with our eyes, is considerably hotter than our sun, and also significantly younger. This star is only about 50 to 100 million years old, so Regulus may be younger than the dinosaurs. The second brightest star in Leo is all the way at the opposite end of Leo. This is Denebola, which means the lion's tail. Many, if not most, of the traditional names for the stars simply describe their position in the picture of the constellation. The most famous deep sky sight in Leo is the Leo triplet. Just below the first star of the triangle in the tail of Leo, there's set a trio of galaxies near each other. These galaxies, Messier 65, Messier 66, and New Galactic Catalog 3628, are visible in modest telescopes, but only larger amateur telescopes will reveal details of their structure. All three are about 35 million light years away, and are spiral galaxies that appear to have faint bars of stars in their cores. These bars indicate that the galaxies were disturbed by the gravity of the other nearby galaxies when they passed by each other about 800 million years ago. So if it's clear where you are tonight, go out and find the Big Dipper, and draw that line out to Regulus and Leo the Lion. Next time we'll continue to use the Big Dipper to fill out the spring constellations. This is Brian from the Delta College Planetarium wishing you clear skies.